The Alago is Antrenus a species of bird in the family Thamnophilidae. It is endemic to Brazil, found only in the states of Pernambuco and Alagoas, two epicenters of extinction due to rampant deforestation in that area, its population is now thought to be less than 30 individuals and severely fragmented. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical moist lowland forest. Logging and fires are the primary causes behind its decline, something that is expected to continue as a network of roads for logging continues into Atlantic forest. Since the population is limited to higher elevations, climate change is thought to pose yet another threat. To combat this, several tracts of land have been purchased and reserves, such as the Marici Ecological Station, have been created. The Alagoas foliage gleaner is 18 cm long with plain rufous brown plumage. Sexes are similar. It inhabits interior upland forest at 400 meters, and has been found singly, in pairs or small groups, and often join mixed species flocks including lesser woodcreeper. The major threat to its existence is habitat destruction, and the clearance of Atlantic forest in Alagoas and Pernambuco has left few other sites likely to support populations of this species. A 2018 study citing bird extinction patterns and the lack of any confirmed sightings since 2011 recommended reclassifying the species as extinct. The white-collared kite is 50 cm long. Adults have a gray head with a white hindneck, black upperparts, white underparts, and a gray tail with a very broad, black subterminal band and whitish tip. It is very similar to the more widespread gray-headed kite and was often merged into it as a subspecies. This species is classified as critically endangered. There have been very few sightings of it, and nothing is known of its feeding or breeding ecology. The areas in which it has been sighted have been subject to massive deforestation. The current population is estimated at some 249 mature individuals. As typical of most mannequins, Araripi mannequin males and females have a strong sexual dimorphism in the colors of the plumage. This species consumes both plant and animal materials as part of their diet. In 2000 there was an estimated population of less than 50 individuals and it was considered as one of the rarest birds in Brazil and in the world. Only three males and one female were found until that date. In 2000 a theme park with swimming pools and asphalted roads was built at the type locality Nascente do Farias and the largest part of its original habitat became destroyed. The cleared trees were replaced by banana plantations. Pernambuco pygmy owl is classified as critically endangered and potentially extinct by BirdLife International. It is assumed to have a tiny and declining population within an extremely small known range. The population is estimated at less than 50 adult birds. A 2018 study citing bird extinction patterns and the almost complete destruction of its habitat recommended uplisting the owl to critically endangered, possibly extinct. The bird is a medium-sized parrot weighing about 300 grams, smaller than most of the large macaws. Its plumage is various shades of blue, with a gray-blue head, light blue underparts, and vivid blue upperparts. Males and females are almost identical in appearance, however the females are slightly smaller on average. The species inhabited riparian Caribera woodland galleries in the drainage basin of the Rio São Francisco within the Cotinga dry forest climate of interior northeastern Brazil. It had a very restricted natural habitat due to its dependence on the tree for nesting, feeding and roosting. It feeds primarily on seeds and nuts of caraiba. Due to deforestation in its limited range and specialized habitat, the bird has been rare in the wild throughout the 20th century. It has always been very rare in captivity, partly due to the remoteness of its natural range. The Spix's macaw is extinct in the wild. Its last known stronghold in the wild was in northeastern Brazil and sightings are very rare. The species is now maintained through a captive breeding program at several conservation organizations under the aegis of the Brazilian government.
the Brazilian merganser is one of the six most threatened waterfowl in the world, with possibly fewer than 250 birds in the wild and a few kept in captivity in Brazil. The origin of its name is from its long, sharp-edged beak that has a great number of teeth-looking edges. Brazilian mergansers are very territorial birds defending large stretches of river and the land surrounding the fast-flowing water. They are recognized as a resident species that does not abandon the watercourses where it established its territory. They do not move or want to move once their habitats have disappeared. The birds need large territories. And their habitat is fast dwindling. They are very sensitive to habitat degradation and loss primarily due to human actions. A major threat to the bird's survival is the issue of silting of rivers caused by the expansion of farming activities, mining, watershed degradation and soil erosion, as well as deforestation. The northern mariki is an endangered monkey endemic to Brazil. It is unusual among primates in that it shows egalitarian social relationships. It is found in the Atlantic forest, they are the largest species of New World monkeys. It feeds mainly on leaves and twigs, but will also eat fruit. It often hangs upside down by its prehensile tail while eating. The northern mariki has been argued to be important to understanding human evolution, since it is one of the few primates that has tolerant, non-hierarchical relationships among and between males and females, a feature shared with hunter-gatherer humans, but which contrasts with the ranked relationships of most other primates. Group aggression is also rare. The success of males fathering offspring links to the maternal investment they gain from their mothers and co-resident female kin. This provides support to the grandmother hypothesis. It is threatened by hunting and destruction and fragmentation of its Atlantic forest habitat. The cherry-throated tanager moves through its habitat singly, in pairs or in small flocks led by a dominant bird. If undisturbed, it utilizes regular tracks to visit feeding sites over the course of the day. These tracks vary according to season. It is apparently a resident bird. There is no indication even for altitudinal migrations. This bird has been classified as critically endangered, with an estimated population of between 30 and 200 adult birds and a distribution size of just 31 square kilometers. The major threat to its survival is deforestation leading to further and further habitat fragmentation and which can reduce habitat to a point where it is too small in extent for a viable population of this species. The Rio de Janeiro antren is a species of bird in the family Thamnophilidae. It is endemic to Brazil, and is currently thought only to survive in Guapi Acu Ecological Reserve, although identification is tricky and its continued survival has been questioned. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical moist lowland forest, threatened by habitat loss. The golden lancehead is a highly venomous pit viper species endemic to Ilha da Queimada Grande. Because it is only found in an area uninhabited by humans, there has never been an official report of a human being bitten by one, but other lanceheads are responsible for more human mortality than any other group of snakes in either North or South America. Because the island on which the species is found is so small, it can only support a small population, which means that the range between number of snakes required for the population to survive and maximum number of snakes the island can support may be small, making the species especially sensitive to any other problems. Parachi's nectar bat is a species of nectar-feeding bat, it was first described from the Atlantic forest in southeastern Brazil. It might be endangered due to habitat destruction. Bat species in the genus Lanchophila feed on nectar and differ from fruit-eating bats by having a long, extensible tongues and elongated skulls and muzzles.
The black-faced lion tamarin is an arboreal species and primarily eats small fruits and invertebrates. They are also known to drink nectar, eat the young leaves of bromeliads and consume mushrooms. They are thought to supplement parts of their diet with mushrooms during the dry season. There are several conservation projects and the total populations is unlikely to exceed 400 individuals. The black-faced lion tamarin has such a specific habitat preference and low population that habitat loss is the greatest threat to the species. Agriculture, development, fragmentation and extraction of heart of palm are the leading causes for their habitat loss. It is also threatened from the illegal pet trade, hunting, increased tourism and inbreeding depression. The northern brown howler is the type subspecies of the brown howler, native to Brazil. It is listed as critically endangered, with fewer than 250 individuals restricted to vicinity of the Jequitinhona River. The species feeds on fruits, flowers, and by preference immature leaves which are easier to digest than mature leaves. Foraging for these foods in hillside habitats was shown to require more energy expenditure than in valley habitats. The Brazilian guitarfish is a low fecundity viviparous fish. The major threat faced by this guitarfish is overfishing. The fish is caught by trawling, beach seine and gillnet and has traditionally been the main betoid fish caught along the coast of southern Brazil. The main ports at which it is landed are Rio Grande. In 1975, 842 tons were landed at Rio Grande and by 1984, that had risen to 1,804 tons. Since then the catch has dwindled to 157 tons in 2002 and has continued to decline since. In southern Brazil waters, the fish seems to have declined by more than 80% since 1986. Based on this evidence, the International Union for Conservation of Nature is concerned that the Brazilian guitarfish may become extinct within about 10 years due to overfishing. The dark-winged trumpeter is a species of bird in the family Cephiidae. It is found in the Amazon rainforest of Brazil, but only south of the Amazon River. As of 2012, this species is listed as a vulnerable species. The one-striped opossum is an rare opossum species from South America. It is found in Argentina and Brazil. Because of the species' low population size and small geographic location, the Santa Catarina's guinea pig is considered critically endangered. Within the grazing grounds the guinea pigs left evidence of exploitation of their food sources. Grasslands on the surrounding islands have a higher biomass and reach about 50 cm, however in feeding areas of the cavies the grasses only reach 5 cm high. Due to the cavies' small feeding patch of 0.77 hectares over exploitation when the population density is higher creates a natural fluctuation in the mortality of the species. If the land were to experience disturbances or environmental stochastic events the species could more severely decline. Although the site is within a preservation area, restricted entry is not enforced. Implementation of land management and active monitoring may protect the species from other possible anthropogenic or natural threats. Researchers suggest monitoring the species' vulnerability to parasites and subject the species to parasitological and immunological assessments. 
invasive species of lice, mites or grasses entering the system as a potential threat to the population. The Royal Synclodes is a passerine bird which breeds in the Andes. It was formerly considered to be a subspecies of the stout-billed synclodes. This bird has a population of less than 250, and is classified as critically endangered. It is confined to tiny, humid patches of polylepis woodland and montane scrub, and the major threat to its survival is the use of fire and heavy grazing which restrict the regeneration of polylepis. Recent population and range of the blue-throated macaw estimates suggest that about 400 individuals remain in the wild. Its demise was brought upon by nesting competition, avian predation, and a small native range, exacerbated by indigenous hunting and capture for the pet trade. Although plentiful in captivity, it is critically endangered in the wild and is protected by trading prohibitions.